Greetings. Uh, hello to all. And so I thought I'd do something just a little bit different and fun for uh, for a uh, change. And um, this one, I'm definitely going to try and make it a, you know, like a sub 10 minute video. I always go on for like an hour or a half hour or whatever. But this is a battery powered Wimshurst machine. And I got it from this group called Spark It. They're out of New Zealand. And it's not, it doesn't cost much. I just bought it on a whim. It's um, it's 29 bucks. They say somewhere it's $29. And they did like a Kickstarter to make this thing. And so I'm sort of doing a review. I don't have any relationship with them. Um, I'm doing a review of the Spark It battery powered Wimshurst machine. And so, I guess my my review is I'll just say it's it's great I love it um, took a little while to get here from New Zealand but once it was here you know put it right together uh, it's um, you know I've dropped it it's fallen over the thing's sturdy it keeps working the only modification I made is to keep it from falling over I um, glued a couple pieces of balsa wood here so it's less likely to to fall over like when you're trying to shut it off or turn it on. Um, oh, I guess I should say, say just, you know, by way of background, the Wimshurst machine is a high voltage machine. It generates high voltage. It's um, a cousin to the Perpetual Electrophorus out of, um, I guess, the 1800s. And then more recently, another similar type of electrostatic high voltage machine, I think it was out of MIT, would be the uh, Van de Graaff generator. So why don't I shut up now and just turn this thing on and I'll show you why I like it so much. So these things spin and then that happens. Now it's really spinning up. So it's a great conversation piece. And this is running off rechargeable batteries that I've just had sitting there for like months. I just pulled the thing off the shelf. So it's probably not even at three volts. It'd spin a bit faster and sparks could be even bigger if I recharge the batteries. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head the spark length to voltage, but that's got to be over 10,000 volts. That's probably like 20,000 volts um, somewhere around there. So this thing doesn't have any inductors in it. It just has these two counter-rotating plates with this conducting, I'm guessing that's an aluminum strip, on each of them. And then two tiny capacitors that collect the static electric charge and then it discharges across the air. And so that's what's, what's happening. And you can read up on the Wimshurst machine at your leisure. But before I let you go, I want to do one experiment with this that I haven't seen anyone else do. And what I'll say is that there are two explanations for what we'll see that I can think of. Well, one is the conventional explanation. And then the second is the weird ass explanation. And if you've been following my channel, I think you know which one I'll go with. I'll go with the weird explanation. Let me get this thing on solid ground. So I'm gonna put it on a jeweler scale. So, so I have the scale on. I don't know if it'll show, but the scale is on grams. We'll put it on here. And it doesn't want to show for us. That'll be a problem. Come on. Maybe there's a backlight. Okay. I think that's showing up. I don't know why it's so not showing up on the camera so it weighs come on boy that's annoying isn't it all right there we go my fingers out of the way that's how much weighs in grams uh, 3928.8 now i'm going to hit tear and so we're to zero now i'll start the machine where's the button where's the button And 
nothing. Although it's still a great conversation. conversation piece. I mean, look at that. That's, that's awesome. But, let's see, that's a zero. Okay. Well, let's do two other things. Now let's put it on its side like that. So, oh, there it goes. So, it's still teared at zero. Start it up. Now my finger has to come off. And if you can see it over in the corner there is, is a negative. Now, it does start to, it's either from a rattling or from the spark interfering with the electricity, uh, with the, with the thing above the scale. It says negative seven. Let me see if I make the spark bigger, what it'll do. Now the spark is now bigger. And it's not, it's not settling down now. You can see when the sparks go, it's going negative. And now I brought it in nice and close, and it's sparking very frequently. Now we're to negative 8 point, negative 8.4, negative 8 or 9, somewhere around there. And so it stopped, and it's back to zero. Now let's flip it over the other way. So now we've flipped it over the other way. We got it zeroed out, and I just need to start it. Let's see if I can... Now when you put your hand there, it'll change the scale, but then it goes away. I wish that would register better. So now there's no negative on the, on the left end, and it's kind of all over the place right now, but it'll settle down. So now it's settled down, and it's reading 4.8 grams. 4.4 grams. So the um, boring and conventional explanation for that is ion wind. And I don't know, that good chance that's what it is. The cool explanation for the cool kids, and the weird one, is that's an example of T. Townsend Brown's electrogravitics. And the caps in here are so small. And I would say if it is electrogravitics, it's still a function of the changing magnetic field, even though you know you don't think of the cap. It, the cap, when it discharges, there's, there's a magnetic flux. So I've heard one of the um, alien reproduction vehicles that we supposedly have is um, called the flux liner. So that's, there's some sort of imbalance when um, a cap discharges quickly when you have a really rapid um, change of significant magnetic flux. So that's what I think it is. Why not? It might be, or it might be, um, or it might be ionic wind. Hard to say with this setup, but I've never seen that experiment done, and you do see something that shows up when it's like this. Nothing. When you put it on its side, there's either a negative or a positive grams that shows up on the scale. It's so kind of cool. All right, I said I'd make this brief, so let's make it brief and end with this. Okay, bye for now.